I'm Forrest Saunders standing in front of the state capitol. Florida Democrats in the Biden-Harris campaign in damage control on Tuesday. That is after comments by the president's re-election chair who said that Florida is not a battleground. That is counter to comments that we've heard from the campaign itself as well as the state and national party chairs. Take a look. It was just the comment Florida Democrats didn't want to hear from the very presidential campaign they're working so hard to boost. North Carolina's battleground state? Yes. Florida? No. Biden re-election chair Jen O'Malley Dillon telling political reporter John Heilman in a podcast, Florida isn't a battleground this cycle. Thank you. Um, I was afraid you were going to lie. Um, don't, I really feel, oh, we're, we're really going on our time in Florida. I'm like, okay, that's the, so it's seven. But I have new, I have a point of view on Florida, but. But it's seven. Yeah. The position seems counter to what the Biden campaign has said in the past, sending out this memo highlighting, quote, Biden's opening in Florida. It also feels like cold water on what Democrats, including the national chair, told us just last week. The stars are aligning. The planets are aligning. And Florida, Florida, Florida is going to be in that mix. And it's going to be one of the states that people all across the country will be watching very closely in November. Yeah. Biden-Harris campaign advisors working hard to push back on doubts about Florida's relevance Tuesday. I'm running to make Roe v. Wade the law of the land again. They highlighted at least eight ads running in the state, recent upstaffing, and saying they'll have 13 campaign offices running by the end of the week. Those states like Wisconsin already have more than 45. Florida is in play. Florida is a state that Joe Biden is investing in, he is competing in. Biden-Harris national campaign spokesman Kevin Munoz said despite the comments from his boss, Florida wasn't getting written off. We are under no illusion that this would be an easy state for Democrats or Joe Biden to win. The fact of the matter is this is going to be a dynamic campaign and smart winning campaigns preserve every way to get to 270 electoral votes. Florida Republicans, meanwhile, seized the opportunity to take some shots. Governor Ron DeSantis posting online Florida's battleground status is over. The state party chair Evan Powers saying in a statement, quote, the Biden campaign is clearly waving the white flag in Florida. So it's all fool's gold to me. His comments echoing what Power told us last week about Biden's chances here, with a margin of more than 900,000 more registered voters over their rivals. The chair encouraged Democrats to invest in Florida. I, I welcome them to spend all the money, and I, I don't think we have to spend at the level they do because our grassroots is engaged and working on a grassroots level, and the movement to Republicans in Florida is organic, not not contrived by media and, and whatever uh, shtick of the day Nikki Fried has going on. Outside of all those comments from pundits in the campaign, there is one thing that keeps giving Democrats a sense of momentum here in Florida, and that is the recent polling. Some of the latest surveys show that Biden's only down between six and four points to Donald Trump, and that is tighter than a lot of people expected. That's the latest out here at the state capitol. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting.